Hey guys, this is uh, John. Uh, some of you know me as Gear Daddies over at uh, Heli Freak, and I just want to take a couple minutes to uh, show you all a quick video of how to pair the Benny Wong Bluetooth adapter uh, for the Mikado V Bar to a Macintosh uh, computer. I've been struggling with this for a little while, and uh, finally got some answers today. So, number one, thanks to Benny uh, for getting this great piece of hardware. Uh, it's really reasonably priced. I think he only charges about thirty-five dollars for one. Um, so it's a great deal. And also to Heli Benji, he's the uh, guy over at uh, Heli Freak that figured out how to do this. This is, uh, none of this was uh, figured out on my own, so I don't take any credit for this. This is just trying to get the info out there so that uh, it'll benefit some fellow Mac guys. So uh, I'm gonna start kind of from scratch here uh, and show you the whole process uh, from the very beginning. So I downloaded the software from Mikado and it uh, put this nice folder on my desktop. The uh, V-Bar drivers I've already installed, so that's uh, already been done. So the next thing we're going to do is pair up the uh, Bluetooth device uh, to the Mac. And my uh, T-Rex 500 is plugged in. Obviously you can't see it, but it is uh, plugged in next to me, and the Bluetooth is uh, turned on. So uh, what we're going to do is go to um, open Bluetooth Preferences. And we're going to add another Bluetooth device. Take just a moment. There it is, V-Bar. This is a mini V-Bar, which um, evidently shows up as V-Bar. If it's a full-size V-Bar, it'll show up as Mikado V-Bar. So we'll hit continue. Connecting to V-Bar. And this should take just a second. Okay, that's it. It's, uh, it's been paired up with the Macintosh now. And so the next thing we're going to do is go back to the Mikado folder. My mouse is slowing down on me here. And we're going to right click on uh, the Vistabi Bluetooth icon and we're going to go down to show package contents. We'll bring up another folder. We're going to open that. And then we're going to open this file called info p list. Now this is where I got hung up this morning. My uh, MacBook was opening this file uh, in some other strange format. It was an Omni Outliner was the name of the program it was using. Um, so be careful when you open this. I would right click it and choose open with and then choose text edit. It's going to be your best option. Uh, I know the text edit program will work so that's what I'm choosing. It's going to bring up a big file here with a bunch of gobbledygook. If you go down uh, about three quarters of the way down the page you see this line that says string dash C and uh, that's where you want to delete the B and the hyphen that's just before it and a space. And go to File, Save. You can close that. Now what we need to do is go back into our Bluetooth preferences. And we need to look up the path of the V-Bar. So we'll go here and then we're going to choose uh, edit serial ports. It's going to find the, uh, the path for the V-Bar. Here it is right down here and uh, this is technique only. I like to just highlight this, copy, and then I'll put it on a, uh, I have no idea why my mouse is running so slow here. put it on a sticky because we're going to need it again here in a minute. So that's the path. <clears throat> we can cancel this. We can close this. And now we're going to open the VStabi uh, Bluetooth program. Okay.
And then uh, what we're going to do is go in and change the port once it opens to match the port that um, the Bluetooth has been paired to uh, through the computer. So here's the program. It's not connected. That's uh, no surprise. We're going to go right here and choose the port. We're actually going to have to make a new port. So we're going to come over here and delete the com. And we're going to copy it directly from the sticky here. You can't cut and paste into this box. I don't know why you can't, but you can't. So uh, slash dev backslash tty vbar devb. There it is. It showed up and it has a green check mark next to it, so that's good. Highlight it. Hit select. V bar connected. And there you have it. The uh, it's uh, working perfectly here. I'll open my uh, vibration analysis and and kind of give the heli a little. A move there, you can see it's uh, transmitting perfectly. So that's all there is to it. Uh, what I would recommend doing if you have more than one uh, V bar is back in your uh, your page here or your uh, your uh, folder with the VStabby uh, Bluetooth app. I would right click that and just duplicate duplicate it and make a different you know shortcut for each. Uh, issues that you have of each Bluetooth. So that way, you know, I've got uh, on my main desktop now I have two, one for my 500 and one for the 600. So uh, it makes it real easy to know which one to click on. So that's all I got. That's uh, all there is to it. Thanks, Heli Benji, for figuring this out. And thanks, Benny Wong. But uh, good luck to you, Mac guys. And it's uh, nice to finally be able to get uh, some of this V-Bar stuff working really smoothly with the Mac. So I'm real happy with it. Have a uh, great day and uh, happy flying.